Time now for the one and only, the original Friday Night Sports Blitz. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Blitz. Okay, we had a team that got a really big late night win last week, the Beeville Trojans, and hey, they had a really big leg up now for a playoff spot. And after tonight, they have an even bigger leg, but let's go to the highlights. We have Bevo Jones Trojans over at Tulsa Midway playing the Warriors. Now, Bevo is coming off of a big win, like you said, Chris, over Alice to get into the playoff mix. Yeah, I'm looking for a big win tonight, though, of their own. Off the top, Bevo with an explosive start to the past two. Number five, Caleb Washington is Gucci. Touchdown, Trojan. This would put the first numbers on the board for uh, Beville. Seven zip, Beville, like I said. Then TM trying to get the ball moving, but could not. Warriors number 14, Ira Rivera is met by Trojans number 14, Victor Gonzalez. No gain on the play. Then up next, a nice completion for TM by Pedro Alvarez. The drive would stall, though. Not much would come about that. Warriors offense was having a hard time with the Trojan defense. Here we have Bevo Jones number 11, Nick Lampkin with the huge QB sack. Let's take a look at that final. 35 zip, Bevo jo uh, Jones, Trojans with the dub on that one. Yeah, Bevo, like, yep. Bevo close to securing that four seed in that district. Let's get up to Sitton, America. The 10th ranked Pirates hosting Robstown and here opening kick of the game and this is not ideal for Robstown here. Ray oh, Pettis no. is going to get it for Sitton. Eventually he put it on the turf a little oh, bit but lot. picks it up and cuts right through that picker defense like a hot knife through butter. He gone for the score. Sitting just like a snap, they are up seven to nothing on the pickers. When you talk about melted butter, Chris. I think about tortillas and butter on those warm tortillas for this time of year. Oh, that's good. I think about popcorn. I had a big tub of it today oh. watching uh, Dune. Oh, but that's it. off track. <laughs> Sitting defense stepping up. Coach Troutman's team. They came to play tonight. Then Rylan Galvan. He's the reigning district MVP. Get off me. He's going to get a huge gain inside the 35 and then his brother the quarterback Rene Galvan he too is going to do it with the legs get off me and for the score let's take a look at the final Pirates big 70 to 6 your final you are right Sinton America y'all Speaking of Pirates, we have Rock Fort Fulton Pirates over at West Oso playing the Bears. Towards the end of the first quarter, Pirates number 20, John Troop for almost about a 50-yard touchdown. Ain't no one catching him. Humble celebration, 24, 21-14. Rock Fort Fulton is up. Then Pirates again, except on the defensive end. Pirates number four, 24, Joe Moreno with a huge QB sack. The Bears would get pushed back some. Then up next, but Moreno ain't done. The very next play, another Another QB sack, like I said, again, Joe Moreno behind that one as well. Back on offense, Pirates QB ace, Siebert finds number three, Jordan Gibson, touchdown Rockport Fulton. A little confused with that celebration, I don't know if y'all saw that one, but it's 28-14 Pirates. But wait a minute, West Oso answers right back, check it, Bears QB, Anthony Pena finds number one, Jaden Garcia for the huge catch. Love that for them. It's Bears number three, Zephyr, Zephyriah Rankin, who finds, who finds, oh my goodness. Pay dirt, who, touchdown. Who, yes, Bears. That's oh my all God. You That's all you need, pay dirt. Golly. <laughs> Let's take a look at that final. Ashley cannot speak today. 38-28, Rockport Fulton taking the dub on that one. Woo! All right, let's get up to a big game in Ingleside. Port Isabel, one of those teams out of the Valley that, you know, maybe Sneaky can get in for a spot. Ingleside, they've had a great year so far, only the one loss to Rockport here. J.C. Smith for Ingleside. He's going to punch it in on the home Ooh. turf. Made it 7-0. Now it's 21-0 Ingleside, but Port Isabel not going down quietly. Anthony Garcia going to take off the freshman. He gone down the sidelines. Right future ahead, Hal. Yeah, exactly. He's got three more years of that. And that made it 21 to 7. But here, the Mustangs toss to Elijah Bell. That's going to make it 28 7. Mustangs. Ingleside gets the dub, pulling away. Let's take a look at that final 52 14. Really pulling away. So, yeah, so uh, back on camera, the Mustangs, one of those teams now that, you know, it looks like we're going to get three locals at least out of that district. Maybe Westoso can make some noise as well, but for sure, Sinton. Rockport, Ingleside, one, two, and three. Gosh, it's that time of the year, Chris. Yep. It, we made it. 
It, 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 we are now just three weeks away from the first by district game. So uh, it's crazy to think that playoffs are almost upon us. Can't even believe that we've made it to week nine. But anyways, we have plenty more highlights. And again, a little tidbit with the uh, Astros even after that. So stay Video's tuned. Video's in, so stay tuned for the end of the show. Video is in. We'll be right back. <laughs> more Friday Night Sports Blitz is next up. Stand by.